Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be a repair video. I don't like to do this, but they must be done. And sometimes they're actually really fun because your car feels a thousand times better. And in this case, it's going to be one of those cases. I almost didn't mention this, but thank you guys so much. We just hit 22,000 subscribers, man. Can we hit 30,000 by the end of this year? That's the goal. That's the goal, but you guys already know we gotta set our goals high because if we set them too low, they're not really goals, man. Let's hit them super high, 30,000 by the end of this year. Thank you guys so much for the support, man. It really is unreal because without you guys, man, I would, I would, I would feel pretty down right now, especially with this ticket on my hand. It's not the best feeling in the world, so thank you guys so much. And today's shout out is actually gonna go to all of you guys because you guys were we're so supportive on the state ref one. We all came together as a team and hated California in unison. For those of you guys who are new and new to the channel and don't know, I recently just got stopped by the police, got a state rep ticket, got to take it to some guy who's going to inspect my car and be like, okay, your car is legal. You, you can go now. But I have to put all the legal parts first. So it's a hassle, an extra work. California sucks, bro. California sucks. Everything else is cool. The weather, everything is so perfect, which makes it hard to move out of California. But man, man, these the laws here in California are absolutely atrocious. Anyways, guys, today we are going to be replacing these arms right here. These are the compression arms, I believe or C arms or whatever you want to call them okay now the ones in my car are completely shot and I'm gonna show you guys how I found out and everything but uh, these are the arms that we are gonna be replacing it's got a ball joint with the castle nut and a, a bushing right here so let's go ahead and go outside and show you guys how I determined this problem now one thing I will not do is lie to you guys so I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of the I know they have a purpose don't get me wrong like I don't know exactly I can't tell you what they do but I can tell you how I figured out how how they're bad but if you want to know the function of these arms a video i really really recommend is from the local man here about my house he has a channel called full throttle performance 916 and he specializes in nissans and infinities and he makes a super in-depth video of uh, the types of sounds you can hear from your car and what kind of suspension components are related to those kind of sounds and he goes in depth and shows you GoPro footage of the arm actually going bad and everything so super awesome video by Full Throttle Performance 916 check him out if you want all that sorts of information but let me go ahead and show you how I figured this out so basically it started one morning when uh, literally every bump that you go to these cracks right here you see on the floor these cracks every time your wheel kind of goes like this um, there's a little creaking sound you start here the suspension components is not the best sound in the world now one day i realized that the sound was louder than usual and so i'm pretty sure it had to be inspected i was like yo this doesn't sound right so every time the car would roll by the brakes i heard a loud click like a clack like like a metal clacking with something so i went ahead and took my car to my mechanic who helps me with the diff bushings and all that sorts of mechanical stuff since he's a freaking genius and he literally he's moving the wheel with one arm like this fool's hulk or something bro he's insane but he was moving my arm and he heard the click and he went under the car and somehow still moved the wheel with one hand while checking under the car at the same time i don't know how he does it the, the guy's superhuman but he did it and he figured out that it was the compression arms these bushings right here they go bad okay just like every other bushing in your car these bushings go bad so this one is pretty much shot the one in my car i'm gonna show you guys an example right now i'm gonna pull in the car right here and i'm gonna roll it a little bit and apply the brakes and you will hear the clicking sound I try to do it a couple times so you guys can listen to it. I did it a couple times. I was rolling back and forth. So hopefully you guys heard me rolling back and forth and heard that click of the freaking inside. You guys know the deal. First thing is first, take off the tire. All right, guys, now that we pretty much took out everything that we need to get under the car, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer to my iPhone camera just because it's more of a wide angle lens and this is a big ass camera and super close so I can not really show you anything. So please don't mind the lower quality in the, in the video, I'm sorry. All right guys, so we're coming from under the car here. 
these compression arms. They're these ones right here. You guys can see. Now the one that clicks, I believe is on that side. So I'll show you guys that over there. So you can see this ball joint right here. This one's busted. This one we need to switch. We're just gonna leave that one for now. Frame right here in the bottom. So we're gonna have to take off this black frame here at the bottom. These are busted. I remember last time I took them off. So and then over here is the ball joint. We gotta take off this cotter pin, take off this bolt, and then pretty much that's it. And we're all good to go. So it's just this bolt, the cotter pin, this bolt right here, and we're good to take off this. But in order to take this, this bolt, you gotta take off this whole frame here. Ugh. Not bad. now that we took the black frame everything is pretty much straightforward this is already loose this can come off this side now we just pretty much got to take off this cotter pin right here which we got some pliers so we can strain this thing out we were finally able to take the cotter pin out now what i did was as you guys saw in the video i was pulling it with the pliers and then i got a, a, a hammer and i kind of lightly tapped it and slowly surely it came out now don't worry about this being in really good condition because at least the ones that I got, uh, they came with new cotter pins. So you don't gotta worry about reusing the old one. But it ripped, it's pretty much worn out. If you compare it to the new one, this has <laughs> no play at all whatsoever. So much different than this. All right guys, really quick, this job really went from like a 30 minute job to like a three freaking day series. So the bolt, you guys know the 19 bolt that I took off on the other side. So this one ended up stripping. It's stupidly hard. Like, I don't know why the hell people bolt these mother free. I mean, it is old, but man, it's just insanely hard. So that one ended up stripping. So I'm gonna have to get an extractor because I don't have that size as a 19 millimeter. So I'm gonna need a 19 millimeter extractor. Second thing I need is the cone. The cone here in the arm, this right here, it's also super hard. And there's no way of getting it out without fully using an extractor. So I have to go to AutoZone, hopefully, see if they have an extractor for that. We came from AutoZone, we got ourselves an extractor set. And then I got a freaking another type of extractor to take off this stupid cone I was telling you guys about. This freaking took it out, bro. I can't believe this, bro. Look at this freaking octopus looking shit. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Oh my god. This has got to be the happiest feeling in the world when you have a strip ball or something and you finally get the bolt loose. The best feeling, hands down. This stupid bolt for about two hours and we finally were able to get it out or at least moving. Look messed up my torque wrench but all right guys i'm gonna show you guys how exactly i use the ex extractor tool right here it's pretty much a, like a freaking crane from like those vending machines grab this a little bit then once you have it on you just pretty much tie this bitch up all right guys i just want to send a special shout out to my neighbor but he saw me struggling and we got it loose now, but he, this is, I don't know what this is. If this is my G35 in power, he brought like a damn freaking Ferrari, bro. His impact was so hard. This shit, it snapped it in two seconds, bro. It just went, Pow! shout out to him, man. Hey guys, welcome back. It's a couple days later, but uh, we completely uh, switched out the control arm here in the G35 and I took it out to my job. I shouldn't be driving the car because, you know, it's got a ticket, but I took it to work because, I mean, it's my only car. We drove it and the car feels a lot better. Like the bumps and the cracks, it feels now a little bit more cushioned. It feels before it was like slammed because all the bushings were freaking torn out. But now it feels kind of like, like uh, more comfy, if that makes sense. And the noise that we heard previously in the video is completely eliminated. Let me go ahead and show you. Let me turn on the car, show you guys that it doesn't make the sound anymore. You can see the car now doesn't make any more noise. As like you guys remember when I hit the brakes, it would freaking make that. 
loud freaking bump but anyways guys besides that that was your daily maintenance video for today or repair video for today we were able to fix the compression arms we don't have that noise anymore that's a w in the books now today at work i just received an email that my honeycomb carbon fiber hood they just finished making it and it's ready packaged ready to get sent out so i'm super excited to be receiving my full honeycomb carbon vented head ever since that one flew off so it's gonna be freaking exciting i still gotta buy some more uh arrow catch clips freaking so i can uh secure the hood but besides that guys i'll catch you guys next video thank you guys for all the support it helps me so much follow me on instagram be distinct underscore if you haven't already on tiktok be distinct as well i post a little bit of content on there so without further ado i'll catch you guys next video transforming my g35 back to stock and i'll catch you guys there peace out love you guys be distinct peace out